what happens at a mental health appointment? What particularly happens in the room? Well, to go into a mental health appointment there, I know there's the anxiety that comes along with it, the cautiousness that happens, and that's quite normal. It's natural to think these negative thoughts about yourself, and I think that comes back from historical reasons, your environment, your upbringing, the stuff that sort of happened throughout your life. But once you sort of get into the appointment, you see it's, it's quite a different environment for what you think it is and how you build it up in your mind. You sit down and you just have that conversation. And from after that first initial appointment, you sort of go back in with that trepidation, but you know that once you get in there, it's fine. There's no negative stigma attached to it. It's a, it's a, it's a positive thing to go in and talk to somebody about it. And it's, you trust a psychologist and a counsellor. It's all about that trust. And once you develop that trust, it's quite easy to go back in again and again, and that just leads to a better outcome in life. Well, our bodies need physical exercise. Uh, fitness makes us feel good with the endorphins and think positively for our future, that we feel lighter there. And I think we need to do the same with the mind. Uh, the mind has its roller coaster days. So I think going to see a counsellor is a wonderful opportunity because my mind ends up feeling better. I feel positive, I feel happier, and I know my future is going to be more positive, and it's great for my family and friends to see me like this. I'm going to a hearing psychologist can sometimes be difficult, especially if they're not experienced with deafness and deaf culture, especially when you've got an interpreter in the room as well there. It's not always as comfortable as what it could be, but that takes time to come over or overcome those issues there. But you have to understand that your mental well-being is very important. So sometimes there you can look at a psychologist and go into an appointment there that understands the deaf identity and the deaf culture and just understands the way the deaf mind works there and you feel like you've got more of a rapport there without necessarily having an interpreter in the room. Um, and you feel you can unpack more and have that conversation more. And then when you go home or when you go make other contacts with your family and friends there, you can talk about saying, it was a wonderful appointment there because the right person there understood my deaf identity.